Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today we're going to talk about watching your plants for when they need to be watered. My tip today is about noticing certain plants that respond to a lack of water and kind of tell you that they need water. So uh, one of the ultimate plants that does that is a hydrangea. The leaves really start to droop and curl up. Another one that we've got here is this Hakanakloa grass. And uh, this particular grass is doing really well. It's been planted here for several years. But what I want you to notice is how the leaves are actually kind of curling up. The reason plants are doing that is it's a protective mechanism. They're actually making it so that less of their leaf surface is exposed to evaporation. And by doing that, they're not losing water as quickly. So when you notice a plant looking that way, it's a good idea to give it a drink. Some plants will do that in the heat of summer, even if there's enough moisture. But here we are, and this grass plant looks like it needs a good drink. So let's give it to it. So I'm just going to water this and uh, right close to the root system, right underneath the grass plant. So we're going to really soak this. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to film another video, and then we're going to come back and shoot the second half of this video. And what I want to show you is how quickly this responds. We'll tell you what time it is, and we'll tell you how much time elapsed. So I'm giving this probably two to three gallons of water. I really want to soak the soil around here. It's been very dry this particular September here in New England. We've actually had uh, a fairly great summer with lots of moisture, but in the past few weeks, things have started to dry up. So we're seeing the results. It's also close to the house. Uh, and the soil here is very well drained. So if it's not raining adequately, this is the result. Interestingly enough, there's another ornamental plant just adjacent to this particular grass plant. I'm going to water that as well because it's also drooping a little bit. The leaves are kind of curling and it's underneath a big maple tree. So I know it's fairly dry there. Some plants can handle that, uh, but this plant, again, it would love a good drink. Now, one caveat here, your evergreens don't droop in the same way unless they're really stressed out. So uh, for those plants, you might want to give the soil a check and see if they need water uh, because they're not going to really tell you the way that these plants will. About an hour has gone by. We did another video and, and now we're looking back at the hack and a clover and we're also looking at this ornamental plant. And you can see they've sort of propped themselves up. That's a short period of time, but it's a good indication that they really did need the water. Uh, and that's another way you can tell is that when you water these plants that were drooping and then they do prop themselves up, they're kind of thanking you for uh, giving them a good drink. So some plants will really tell you when they need water. Other plants, you kind of have to feel the soil. And I always recommend feeling the soil because we're not going to get into this. If you overwater, sometimes things can actually droop as well if you water things too much. But outside, not worry too much about that. It's 90% of the time, it's an underwatering issue when you're seeing things drooping. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.